Hi guys, it's me Erica, and so I'm going to be talking about the anime I'm going to be watching this spring 2016 season. And by the time this video goes up, I think most of the winter animes will have finished already. And the reason I'm sharing the animes I'll be watching and some of their synopsis is because then if something exceeds my expectation this season, then I have some people to fangirl with. Side note, a lot of the animes I'm going to be watching this season are like two extremes of just like comedy like nonsensical kind of animes that just feel good and then the kind of grittier, darker animes and there's no in the middle which is kind of funny because I don't know about you but some of the animes that are going to be released in the summer of 2016 are just like <sighs> I don't know they're just so magical like Shogeki's second season is coming out Orange is coming out but I'm getting way ahead of myself and I'm just going to talk about the spring 2016 anime finally after all that rambling, so let us get started. So the first animes on this list are the light-hearted, feel-good animes I was talking about in the beginning. And the first one on that list is Tanaka-kun wa Itsumo Keraruge. And the synopsis of this story is that Tanaka is a laid-back schoolboy who isn't really liked by his classmates but is also not disliked. So he's just kind of in the middle going with the flow of high school life or whatever school life he's in. Uh, and then he suddenly befriends this boy named Ota who won't leave him alone because of their newfound friendship and the story follows their friendship and also their school lives. Personally for me, it kind of reminded me of Kimi Toboku with the art style and also the synopsis. So the next anime I'm going to be watching is called Shonen Maid and Shonen Maid tells the story of Chihiro, a little boy who just suddenly lost his mother and is thrown into the world to fend for himself until his uncle shows up and takes him in but there is a plot twist the uncle actually makes Chihiro dress up as a maid and Chihiro's a boy so that's the cross-dressing portion of this anime and makes him kind of take care of the uncle so that's the little one taking care of the adult so I think this is going to be a really funny anime and also there's cross dressing so it's, pan it's bound to be kind of funny I guess. So the next anime I'm going to be watching is called Kuma Miko and Kuma Miko tells of the story of Machi, a middle school shrine maiden that takes care of a shrine in the Toko region and also a talking bear that acts as her guardian. And Machi is actually going to be attending school down in the city and because she's in such a secluded place she doesn't really know how to act in a city filled with people <laughs> I guess and Mats Natsu who is the bear that she takes care of is going is going to set up trials for her to get ready for that city life. So the last anime in that kind of light-hearted um, good feeling kind of list is actually one of, one of the animes I'm kind of excited for because I've heard good stuff about it is Sakamoto Desuka and Sakamoto Desuka uh, tells of a story of Sakamoto, an extraordinary first year high school student who grabs the attention of everyone at school. He is almost like a superhero in the school in that he kind of saves everyone's days whether it be a small task such as like taking out the garbage to a big task such as saving someone from bullying and it's just part of his life to take care of this of the people of his school i guess so moving on to the darker grittier animes i'm going to be watching the first one on my list hopefully you don't butcher the name but i'm going to i just know it because it's kind of hard to say it's sose no oyomanji or something like that sose no oyomanji so the story for this is that rokuro who's the male lead of this anime comes from a line of exorcists and because of this lineage, he's kind of forced to follow his family's path, even though that's the last thing he wants to become. However, he has to suck it up, and he eventually meets his rival, who is Benio. And in a turn of events, they actually start kind of working together, and people start nicknaming them as the twin star exorcist who are supposed to get married and then produce a child that will be the best exorcist of all time. So the next anime I'm going to be watching is Wongo Stray Dogs, which tells of a story of Nakajima Atsushi, who is kicked out of his orphanage and has to fend life for himself. And after he's kicked out, his life just seems to go on for the worse until he actually contemplates and attempts suicide. 
until he's saved by Danzai Osomu, who is actually part of the special elite agency, detective agency who has supernatural powers and takes on cases that the police and military can't handle. So Nakajima is actually taken in by this agency to help with a case. However, as time goes on, they find out he has a deeper connection with the agency. So the last anime I'm going to be watching is Kiznaiver. And I know a lot of people are hyped up for this anime because I think Kill the creators of Kill la Kill are doing this anime too. I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me on that. But a lot of people are interested in this anime. And when I read the synopsis, I was just like, whoa, that actually sounds really nice. So getting to the point. So the synopsis of the story is that the Kisuna system helps connect people of different personalities and different uh, races to each other to have a better understanding of one another. So it does this by sharing wounds, so basically sharing your problems, like whatever my problem is, someone else will share with me. So it helps people understand each other more and helps promote world peace. And the people that are chosen to be a part of these systems are called Kiznivers. And when a new Kiznivers comes into the system, whatever their problems is will be divided among the other Kiznivers. And from that story, I was just, whoa, that was like really cool. So yeah, that is all the anime I'm going to be watching this season uh, for now. If you guys have any recommendations that I didn't catch or there's another anime coming in the season that I hear good stuff about, I'll probably pick it up and try it out. And yeah, if you're ever wondering what anime I'm watching or have watched, always check down in the description on my anime list and my other links so that we can connect and fangirl together and etc. So I hope you guys like this video and are ready for the spring animes that are coming up. Thank you so much you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.